Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back. It's good to be back. Uh, we got a good one for you today. Archie Sharp and Ryan Garner. Good odds on this. This is a bet that I like a lot. I really like this fight. So, you guys, stay tuned. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie uh, comes out to every major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. I'll show you how to bring down the house. There's always a bull market somewhere. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the ticker below. So join the Patreon. Follow us a month. It gets you lock of the week. It gets you the updated prop bets. It gets you to ask the bookie anything. It gets it like the prop for this. It's not dropped yet. If it drops before the fight, I'm going to bring it to you. I'm going to show you how to make money on the props. We don't have that yet, right? DraftKings fans, do they, don't, they don't have the props. I'm going I'm to show you how to bet on the props when they release the odds. Uh, it asks the bookie anything. Ask me to request a video. I do all of it for you. So join the Patreon link. It's in the description. Uh, it's also in that little ticker below. Just five dollars a month gets you all the updated props, uh, everything like that. All right. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. Archie Sharp and Ryan Gardner. Archie Sharp, Ryan Gardner. Uh, this is an excellent stylistic matchup. Two uh, undefeated guys. High-level, you know, prospects, very touted guys. It's a high-risk fight for both guys. Archie Sharp, 29 years old, from the UK, 25-0, and 0, 19 years old, sharpshooter, uh, was trained by Roy Jones Jr. He was touted. A lot of people thought highly of him. <clears throat> he fought just two months ago, eight-rounder, did not look spectacular in the fight. He's going to take on Ryan Gardner, 15-0, 26 years old. Eight knockouts. Let's get into it. First, Archie Sharp. He got he got dropped uh, twice in, in the first round uh, in his last fight. He was in trouble. He looked hurt. He survived it, came back, uh, won the fight after that, but it was not impressive. The, the first round was a disaster. Yeah, it's the first round of an eight-round fight. But this was a guy who's supposed to demolish. Um, again, 25-year-old prospect, Archie Sharp, taking on a 17-14-2 a, a and two guy. Dropped twice in the first round. He came back. He did drop, uh, what was his name, Raquan uh, Arce. He dropped him in the third round. He's not a puncher. He's a back foot guy, uses the ring, very skillful, very skillful guy, measures distance really well, likes to be at range, uses his angles tremendously well, puts punches together, doubles up on his jab. He constantly doubles up on the jab. Uh, you know, Roy, Roy taught him well. There's no, there's no question about it. He throws in combinations. There's just nothing on it. He stays busy. He counters really well. He takes the lead also. So he can counter or he can take the lead. Nice jab, like I said. He, Keeps it out there, keeps it pumping. He's got quick reflexes. He can make you miss. He can. He changes up tempos, right? He changes up his cadence, his tempos, right? He mixes up his shots. He goes to the body well. Good footwork. Great footwork, actually. He can cause you to get a little ahead of yourself. He can cause you to get a little over aggressive. He can make you miss. He makes you miss really, really well. That's probably his, his biggest strength is, is making you miss and a little pot shot counter and then keeping the jab out there. He does shell up at times, right? Like he throws in combination when he throws, but sometimes he'll go long periods of time without throwing. Uh, and he throws on punches. Like I said, uh, really, there's nothing on his punches. There, uh, he's got a bunch of knockouts, but there's really not much on it. He's got eight or nine knockouts in 25 fights. Uh, there's really nothing on his shots. So you can kind of just walk through him. If you can cut the ring off, if you don't want to, you, you can walk through him. It's. <clears throat> There's not a, a ton of pop on those shots. Well, there's not really any pop on the shots. Ryan Garner's a prospect I like a lot. I really liked him as a prospect. Straight up and down, uh, commits to his shots a little more. He stays comfortable behind a high guard. He's more comfortable. He's more of a front foot guy. Actually... He's got decent speed as well. He's not he's not slow in plotting, right? He's a decent athlete, decent speed. He's done well at the British level. And I, I think this is a guy who could become a world level contender. Will he ever be a world champion? I, probably not. But he could be a top fifteen guy in the world. I, 
at this weight class. I really believe that. Good combination puncher as well. He's got a good arsenal. Good volume, too. Uh, pretty good pressure fight. He keeps the volume on him. He commits. He's not the, the biggest hitter in the world, but he commits to his shot. He's got a little gust, a little pop on his shots. He rips his shots. He goes to the body well. He's a good body puncher. And he'll lay you down. He can break you down because he throws hard shots, right? He commits to him, turns him over. He throws good punches. He's just not a huge puncher, but he's kind of maximized the gifts he's been given as, as, as a puncher. He's sharp and accurate from the outside. And, and that's one thing that you can see. He, he, he's clean, crisp shots from the outside, right? Uh, he's fundamentally, he's been taught to fight really, really well. Fundamentally sound. He's exactly what you would want in, 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 in a come forward kind of pressure fighter, kind of power boxer, right? Like his style is, is he's kind of a pressure fighter. He's kind of a, a he, he's a fusion of a lot of things in the ring. But what he is, is he's a, is a, is a good fighter. Um, Sharp punches, accurate, clean shots. He catches you clean. He, like I said, he maximizes everything he has uh, as a punch. Now I want to show you this odds. We're gonna to go to, to DraftKings because we usually are we gonna use. I mean, blah, 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 blah. we're gonna use FanDuel um, because I can't find anything on DraftKings. So we're gonna look at the book on FanDuel. Uh, I'm sure DraftKings will add this, uh, but simple bet: Ryan Garner. Uh, minus 150, according to FanDuel. I, I think those odds are spectacular. I think this should be a minus 250 fight. Uh, Archer Sharp is plus 140, and a draw is plus 1,600. I don't have any props on this yet, right? No, no props. Uh, this is a fight potentially where I think Garner could knock him out, but this is a great bet. $100 bet makes it $67. Your pay will be 167 on Ryan Garner. I, I think this is a lot. I really think Ryan Garner, I, I, Archie Sharp just doesn't have the ability to beat a guy like Garner. Garner's a much better prospect, a much more complete guy, much higher upside, bigger puncher, stronger guy. From the outside, he can score with him. He can walk him back. He's going to land the more impressive shots. He's got this one guy that can score a knockout in this fight. It's Ryan Garner. And this, I, the, the, there are so many more paths to victory for Garner. Sharp's just got to be perfect. He's got to use his angles and hope that the – Judges like what he's doing more than what Garner's doing. Because Garner's going to work him, outwork him. He's going to throw more. He's going to land the cleanest shots. He's going to land the more eye-catching shots. He's going to land the heaviest shots that break Sharp down. So Sharp's path to victory is very limited, right? Like he's just got to be sharp. No pun intended. He's got to be sharp. He's got to use his angle. He's got to get out of dodge, right? He's got to keep moving, keep circling, keep, and just try to do that for the duration of the fight and hope that the judges favor that over the pressure of Garner. And I just don't like the odds here for Sharp. I really like I really like Gardner in this fight. Um, but let me know what you guys think. I think this is a great bet. Honolulu bet makes you sixty-seven bucks. Bet we won sixty-seven. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Three D Boxing, Three D Boxing Blogging, all forms of social media. It is July twenty-third, twenty twenty-four, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.